Okay, everybody, it's 4.50 in the morning. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that? I'm gonna make a cup of coffee, then Simpla's picking me up, and we're going on a hike. Got the fresh grinds over here. I like it hot, so put the flame on over here. We got the lid on. I'm gonna be ready to go. Okay, here we go. It's still dark outside. It's light in the house. And we'll see, we'll step outside over here. And we'll see that. Whoa, there we go. It's really, it's really beautiful getting up so early in the morning. So, in the meantime, as I wait for my ride over here, waiting for the pickup, I normally don't get up this early in the morning. Feels great, you know? I feel like I always tell myself things, ah, you can't get up, you need more sleep. And you know, typical things that we tell ourselves in the morning, but I'm up now, I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling grateful. Oh yeah, as I drive by the airport, you can see all the planes flying overhead. See, right there. All the red-eye flights come into JFK around now. Oh. Okay, my ride's here. Simcha over there. You'll meet Simcha more later, guys. Okay, that's the mountain we're heading towards. You can see that mountain. Let's see right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. Okay. What do you got? What do you got in your bag, Simcha? Got your whistle. Just okay. in case it got lost. Whistle, get very lost. important. Just in case it's you need to start a fire. Wait one second. Wait. Yeah. Are you getting that? We're working on it. Hold on. Woo! Okay. <laughs> In case we get attacked by bears. Very important. We're about to start on the hike over here. We're walking, there we go, a little bit better. We're walking to the destination. I'm told there's gonna be a lot of mountain climbing. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some mountain climbing and I'll keep you posted as we go along. Good morning. Going Good morning. Yep. We're going up the mountain. Okay. Yeah. Really just getting our bearings straight about where we're going. Okay, Simp is the guide. I'm just following along. It's great. Every, everyone needs a tour guide like this. He found the map. He's excited. Okay. You can have it out. Help. To be continued. We did the first leg of the hike. It's beautiful, this was not a, you think this was just like a little trail over here. Let me tell you, this was like insane. This was insane. Okay, I'll get some good views over here. Take a look around. It's just a beautiful place. It's great to be outdoors in nature, enjoying life, it's good for the mind. Let go of your thoughts, chill a little, and have a good time. I'll see ya more further in the hike. Okay. We got, some, got some eagles in the air, if you could see that. We got, a baby. let's see. Hmm. Oh. oh man. Okay, we're starting Woo. Okay. okay, this is take two. I wasn't recording, I thought I was recording. Here Rookie I am. Rookie error. Rookie error. Not a professional filmmaker. Anyways, let me introduce you. This is Simcha Leibowitz over here. He's a good friend of mine. It was his impetus to actually take me hiking and I'm appreciative of Simcha is a licensed clinical social worker, deals with clients most of every day. I'll leave his info in the description. And I wanted to ask Simcha while we have him here. If you had to pick one thing that you liked about hiking, what would you say, what feelings does it bring up for you? It's <sighs> a good question. It's gonna sound like a weird answer, but I think part, part of the answer is the feelings of nothingness. And when we're in everyday life, we just get overloaded by our thoughts and our feelings. Um, and just when, you know, the whole idea of mindfulness is just living in the moment and not getting, you know, attached, you know, not over-identifying with our thoughts or even our feelings. 
being out here just kind of allows you to just kind of let the mind wander, let your mind and emotions roam free. Um, just appreciate, again, the breeze, the sky, nature. Appreciate the breeze, it's beautiful here. Get the mic on the camera, but it's still windy up here. Taking care of your mind, taking care of your body. Holy cow. Oh yeah. That's some survival skills. That is now some survival skills. Wow. Okay, just went swimming in the lake over here. It was a great swim. I'm feeling grateful. And they, uh, there's a quote that I like to say that I once heard from Dr. Bill Pettit. He's a wonderful uh, psychiatrist. He always used to say, uh, life's too serious to take seriously. When we live life with a lighthearted feeling and an open heart, we feel much stronger to deal with everything around us. And, you know, don't fret the small stuff, you know? We always chew on every thought that we have, every feeling that we have, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that if you want to do that, but you know, it's really unnecessary. And, uh, you know, when we have a lighthearted feeling, we just feel much stronger to deal with everything around us. This was a great trip. Let's just pop this screen on over here. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We'll see you in the next one. I hate to say it, but hit that subscribe button. Peace, everyone. Back at home. Oh, my love. Simply give a wave. He did good on camera for his first time. He did good, right? He should start his own. Do you think he should start his own channel? Leave a comment in the section. <laughs>